Hey guys. All right, so I'm going to talk to you guys briefly about something that most of our people try to avoid talking about. And it's also something that affects almost all of us. Um, have you guys noticed that anything that require some type of adjustment or change, our people just try to avoid it at all costs because it's like too much effort into changing? Um, like, for example, I was just having a conversation with a brother, and I told a brother to um, buy some fresh oranges and juice them, because it's healthier than that crap in the store. And the brother said to me, uh, it's just too much work. <laughs> You're just cutting some oranges and squeezing it in a glass. But, um, but that's unfortunately, that's just how it is with our people. They don't like adjustment and change, you know. So, what we have here is a cucumber, but today we're going to call this, today this is going to be our plant food, because that's what it is, all right? So forget about the fact that this is a cucumber. Today, this represents all plant food. That's what this represents today. All plant foods, all right? Remember that. And... <clears throat> Today, that's pasta. Today, this pasta is going to represent all processed food. And so that's the topic today. Plant food, processed food, all right? So our cucumber represent plant food. Our pasta is going to represent all processed food today. Okay. <clears throat> now, we're going to talk about how these two things... Um, affects the body when we eat them. Plant food and processed food. All right, we're we're gonna discuss how, what they do, what they do to the body when we eat them. All right. We're gonna start with our plant food. Okay. Um, how does this affect the body when you eat this plant food? What does it do to the body? All right. I'm sure most, almost everybody knows that the body consists of mainly water. Our bodies consist of over 70% water, right? So what that means is that your cells, your organs, the blood, they all thrive on water. That's what it needs. It's like a plant. Um, a plant thrive when it has um, a lot of sunlight, a lot of soil, a lot of air, um, water. You know, that's how the plant um, uh, thrive, right? So, well, naturally. So the body naturally thrive on water. That's what it needs because when you don't have enough water in the system, what happens to you? You get dehydrated, right? And a whole lot of other stuff start to happen. Your skin starts to suffer. Your nails, your hair, your organs start to suffer, okay? The toxins that are sitting in your gut, um, they're not getting flush out because there's not enough water. And so they just build up in there, right? So... The system needs water. And so plant foods consist of a lot of water, right? A lot of plant foods are, okay? Um, oh, my battery. Oh, my battery almost died. So plant food was made for our body, naturally. Our body was, was, you know, it's like husband and wife. The body and plant food goes hand in hand, okay? Um, so what happened when you eat plant food? I'm going to be very brief with this. When you ingest plant food, it goes through the digestive system very easily. It, it the, the, the digestive organs doesn't need uh doesn't have to put out a lot of effort into processing these things when you eat them 
there's not a lot of effort that goes into um, processing it as far as the digestive organs go because these things are loaded with water and it goes very easily through the digestive system. So they're not sitting in the stomach and clogging it up and creating you know, uh, 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 a hostile environment in your stomach. These things doesn't do that. They, they, they're plant food. They go right through the digestive system quickly, and they don't sit there and clog up the system. And before I go any further, let me, um, unfortunately, I have to explain. Some, uh, I have had a couple of people ask me to explain to them, give them a definition of what plant foods are. Um, okay, so... If you don't know what plant foods are, plant foods are anything that grows on a plant, okay? Whether it's um, a tomato that growing on a vine or a mango that grows on a tree, it's it, those are all things that grows on it, a, a plant, okay? And plant grows in the ground. So that's what plant foods are. Anything that grows on a plant, um, a, a tomato, a, a, a watermelon, a, a coconut, whatever it is, it's all growing on a plant, all right? So that's what plant foods are. And those are things that was created for our bodies, okay? Balance, guys, balance, that's all it is. So, so that's what happened when you um, eat, when you ingest plant food. It doesn't sit in the stomach and create an acidic environment. And, you know, a lot of people argue about, oh, um, acidic foods like, um, limes and lemons and oranges and so on and so forth, citrus and garlic, these things are acidic. But here's the deal, okay? Yes, they are acidic, but the difference between those things and other acidic food is they go through the digestive system quickly because they contain water. They don't sit in your stomach and create an acidic environment in the stomach. So that's why um, it's okay to eat these acidic plant foods, because they're not sitting in your stomach clogging it up, all right? So that's what plant food does to the body. It doesn't sit there and clog up the system. It goes through the system quickly, and the organs does not have to overwork themselves to process these things, all right? They're very easy on the organs. Now, processed food, right? Processed food. How does this affect the body when you're eating them. Processed food, your bread, your pasta, your cakes, your buns, your um, cornbreads, your uh, baked ziti, baked macaroni and cheese, a whole bunch of processed food. How do these things affect the body when you eat them? Well, let me explain to you very quickly. When you ingest these things, the body, the, the, the digestive organs have to work very hard to digest, to break these things down in the body. They, it, it, that's what they do. They have to work very hard. Now, for those of you who are eating breakfast, lunch, dinner, supper, a whole bunch of uh, snacks in between, and most of it looks like these type of things, a whole bunch of processed food. It takes hours for the digestive organs to process one meal, just one meal, hours. So if you're eating three meals a day, you're not giving the digestive organs a chance to rest at all. They're just constantly working, trying to break down the first meal, and then you throw another meal on top of that a couple hours later, so now it has something else that it's working overtime to process, and then dinner time a few hours later, you're throwing something else on top of them, two last meals that you just throw in there, and so now you have three meals piled up in there, right? that the digestive organs are now working so hard to break down. And you know what's happening to your, to, to your organs at this point? They're breaking down. They're breaking down. And so the cycle starts over again tomorrow because today, uh, you know, the day before, they worked so hard trying to break down the crap that you put in there the day before, right? They didn't have time to, to do anything. So what's happening to the food, these processed food, that's sitting in the stomach 
while the digestive organs are working so hard to digest. What's happening is these things, as I said, this represent all processed food. What happened is the processed food that you load in your stomach, three meals a day, because the organs are having so much difficult time processing it, they're sitting there. That's what's happening to them. They're sitting in your gut, that three meals that you ate yesterday, they're sitting there and because the organs is having such difficult time processing it, it starts to, to ferment in your stomach. They're just sitting there clogging up the stomach and they're fermenting. And what happened is they begin to create an acidic environment in your stomach. And that's where the illness begins. Okay, your diabetes, your cancer, and everything else. Okay, your heart um, problems, your digestive issues, okay, um, heartburn, and a whole bunch of uh, another stuff because the, the organs didn't have time to process any of it. It's only so hard that the organs can work to process all these stuff that you keep piling on and you didn't give it a chance to rest. So all that stuff, these processed things, is sitting there. It's not going anywhere, right? And why are these things sitting there? You know why they're sitting in your stomach? Because they have no water content, unlike, unlike your plant food that is loaded with water. Remember I said the body needs water, your organs, your cells, the blood, your body needs water to thrive, right? So these things has no water content. So it slows down the digestive system. That's what happens. It goes through the digestive system very slowly. It doesn't move as fast as the plant food does, right? So these things sit there and clog up the system. That's what these things does, right? So that's the difference when you eat plant foods and, 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 and processed food. I like to call these things dried food because that's what they are. These I call wet food because, you know, they're plant food. They're loaded with water. And these are dried food. And dried food, as I mentioned, slows down the digestive system. And that's where your illness. Listen, the digestive system is, a, is, is that's where all of the illness begins. So if it's not working properly in there, you're in, you're in trouble. All right. So what happened when I throw this? in my juicer. This is what I get. I get water. When I put this in my juicer, I get this. Liquid, water, right? That's what the body needs. Water, the cells, they, 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 they swim in water. You see, they thrive on water, right? So, if you're a vegan, I'm talking to my vegan people right now. If you're a vegan and all you do is you get up and you eat some type of vegan product that you purchase from the store, maybe some type of um, vegan cheese with some type of vegan um, bacon and your vegan bread, and your vegan this and vegan breakfast meal. And then lunchtime comes around and you have some type of processed vegan lunch that maybe nine times out of ten you purchase it from the store, maybe in the freezer aisle or something. And then you have some type of vegan dinner, um, maybe some pasta, vegan pasta with some vegan cheese and a whole bunch of vegan this and vegan that, right? Um, <clears throat> about 95% of that is processed, right? Even if they're made with some plant food, but the plant food that was used to create those things, um, was dehydrated and processed and you have your vegan meal that you purchase from the store. But what they don't contain is any type of water content. It's all dried food. It's all processed vegan food. 
okay? And that's why these things are called, um, that's why they're called uh, plant-based food. You know, there's a difference between plant foods and plant-based food. And what you vegans are eating most of the times are plant-based food. Um, that's what you're eating. And so plant-based food is, is a whole bunch of processed food. It's, it's not this. So vegan, what vegan sh really is, is someone who consume plant food. That's what vegan is. And that's what it should be. But unfortunately in America, right, being a vegan is someone who, who consume a lot of plant-based food. And your plant-based food are processed food. It's, it's, it's all processed. Your vegan processed cheese, your vegan process, your, your bread, your, your this, your that, it's everything bought from the store and they contains no water. There's no water content in your processed food. So when you're eating all these processed vegan food, it does the same thing. As I explained earlier, it slows up the digestive system. Listen, if you're a vegan and 80% of what you're eating is processed vegan food and only about 10, 15, 20% of your food intake is plant food, then you're not doing it right. You're not doing it right. Because the body needs most of this to function properly. Believe it or not, too much of this is not good. But unfortunately, um, you vegans are having too much of this and not enough of this. And that's why it's called plant-based in the vegan world. Because you guys are not really eating um, real plant food. You're eating plant-based food. Um, a whole bunch of processed vegan food that is slowing up your digestive system. I can't tell you how many vegans I've... You know, I hate the word vegan. I really do. I don't even use that word in my vocabulary, okay? But I cannot tell you how many vegans I've spoken to who has digestive issues. Digestive issues. Why? Because it doesn't matter if your food is plant-based. It's all dried food with no water content. No water. If I were to throw this in my juicer, I'm not going to get this. It'll break my juicer, but I won't get this. You see what I mean? If I were to throw your, 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 your fake cheese, your vegan cheese, and your vegan bread, and your vegan pasta, and your vegan this and vegan that in a juicer, I will never get some juice. I will never get any liquid, any water. And that's what the body needs. So if you are a vegan and 80% of what you are cons you're putting in the digestive system is processed dried food and a very little of this you're gonna have issues in the digestive system honey you're gonna have a lot of issues so balance balance and why do i see overweight vegan um this is not a disrespect unless you have some type of um thyroid issue if you're a vegan you should not be overweight uh, this I'm I'm trying to keep it real, people. If you are a a person, a vegan person, and a vegan person is somebody who is su who supposed to be consuming plant foods, right? You shouldn't be overweight. You shouldn't be massively overweight. Um, so if you're vegan and you're overweight, you're not doing something right. You're eating too much of this and not enough of this. Too much. Uh, process vegan uh, uh, um, plant-based food and not enough of plant food real plant food that contains water that is going to go through the digestive system and, and and hydrate the cells and the organs and keep the system healthy too much of this not enough of this it's it's all about balance balance. I'm not telling you, you, you shouldn't be eating, you know, your processed vegan food. But again, what I'm saying to you is 
too much of it you guys are eating. Morning, noon, and night is your vegan meal, your vegan bread, your vegan uh, a whole bunch of baking and a whole bunch of processed vegan stuff. And I don't see a lot of this, a lot of this, a lot of food that, that, that has a high water content that is going to go in there and drench the system and keep it hydrated and, and, and not load on the weight, a lot of weight eating these processed food. So yeah. Um, and even if you're not vegan, even if you are a meat eater, right? Um, you know, uh, balance, balance. And another thing, if you eat meat, if you're a, eat, a meat eater, um, you shouldn't be having your meat with your carbs. You, sh you shouldn't be. And that's why a lot of us are having digestive issues as well, leaky gut and a whole bunch of other stuff. Um, you should be eating your meat with, um, vegetables. Okay. You shouldn't be mixing your meat and your carb because meats, are acidic foods and these things are also acidic foods and when you combine both of them together and throw them into the stomach they sit there remember they don't have any water content in them none of them the meat doesn't your processed food doesn't so you're mixing you throwing them together and you're swallowing them and what happened is it's it goes slowly it just slows down the digestive system and it all sits in your stomach it doesn't go anywhere and it's just a whole bunch of acidic stuff just sitting there and then you wonder why you're sick yeah you're sick because the digestive system is 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 messed up because you're putting all this stuff in there again and also give the give the give the digestive organs a rest guys like three meals a day every day you're not fasting you're not cleansing the system you get up and you're just eating eating breakfast snack lunch snack dinner snack you know what i mean and and so while you're sleeping those organs are working over time trying to break down all that crap that you ate earlier right and then you wake up the next morning and you do it again do it again do it again right and you never flush you never cleanse the system you don't fast so when does the the, or, the organs when do they get time to regenerate themselves and so now do you understand why you're having kidney issues now do you understand why you're having liver issues now do you understand why you're having um you know, incompetence issues, issues with your sexual uh, organs. Now, do you understand why you're having strokes? You're having heart attack. You understand why you're getting all these illnesses because the digestive system is jacked up, jacked up because you don't know how to eat. And so that was the topic of today. You don't know how to eat. You're eating too much of this and not enough of this. That's the problem. Okay. So slow down on too much of this and start having way more of this. And, and, and soups. Do you guys drink soups? Soups are very good. There's a lot, a lot of water in soup, a lot of liquid. You, that's what the body needs to function. Liquid, water. Try to drink some soups every day or a few times a week and enough with all this processed stuff. Make some soup, drink a lot of tea, drink a lot of water. Some people don't even drink water. I've been told by quite a few people that they hate water. They don't like the taste of water. They prefer sodas and drinks and whatever. You know, that's just sad as far as I'm concerned. Um, and, and then they wonder why they're sick. Because you're not drinking any water. And the food you're eating has no water content. Zero water content in it right? And you're not eating enough of this, these things, this cucumber alone, cucumbers has over 90% water in them. Okay. Stuff like this, apples, a lot of water. That's what the body needs to drench it, to, to, to hydrate the cells and the organs. Don't you want beautiful skin, beautiful nails, you don't want to walk around with brittle nails and dry, scaly, itchy skin. Your hair is always dry. Your, your, your scalp is always itchy. Uh, you're constipated. Uh, you got to, you know, sometimes it's just all you need is just some water, honey. Drink some water. All right. And eat food that has water in it. 
enough of the processed food. But anyway, so I'm not going to ramble on anymore. So that was our topic for today. I don't even know what to call it. Um, how to eat. Maybe we'll call it that. How to eat your food. Okay. Um, yeah. So slow down. And I'm talking about your vegans now. Slow down on your processed vegan foods. Okay. Stop eating those plant-based food and start eating plant foods. Vegans. Yeah. Plant foods. Get rid of the plant-based foods, all right? So, stay well. Shalom.